Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your firmware on the DJI Matic Pro. And uh, on the bottom, that you showed uh, that you will be connecting your cable to. And once you have that cable connected, basically it just connects to the USB port on your computer. And uh, what you will need to update is to make sure your uh, battery is charged. Make sure you have enough juice in the batteries. Um, make sure your gimbal support thing uh, for the camera is removed uh, and uh, you're ready to be connected. So, once you connect the USB port, you know, what you need on your computer is the software. It's called DJI Assistant 2. Yeah, so, today I'll be showing you how to upgrade the firmware on your DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, we have a less chance of um, having any screw up. So, uh, one of the software, I have a MacBook, so it's pretty much the same for a Windows <coughs> computer. So, what you need is the DJI Assistant um, on uh, either of either the MacBook Pro or the uh, Windows based computer. So, once you have it connected, you will see uh, your Mavic Pro pop up on the screen. And once you have that, just uh, firmware update, and uh, you will see the latest uh, one that is available for you to be upgraded. So as you can see that uh, it's been a while that I have upgraded mine and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip these two since these are a little bit older ones I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade to the latest one um, and uh, once I press upgrade it tells you how long it's going to take and uh, you can go ahead and start the up upgrade. So now it's downloading the firmware on your computer and uh, from there it's going to push it to your uh, to your drone. So just yeah, just have to be patient. If it gets stuck in the middle or if it's taking a little bit longer, just leave the computer. Don't try to unplug anything because you can really break your um, break uh, your uh, drone. So be very careful and uh, let it let it do its thing. Uh, sometimes they do take a little bit. I remember in my last firmware, uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but eventually it ended up uh, completing the process. So. Just leave it alone guys, uh, of course I'm not asking you to leave it alone for two days, <laughs> uh, it's just uh, sometimes just, it just takes a little bit longer so just be patient and I'll come back to you when this is done downloading and when it's in the upgrade okay, So just another reminder, here's why it's important for you to have more than 50% of the battery. So I started with the 50% but by the time it downloaded as you can see uh, my is more than 50% and this is the area you're going to get. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, recharge my battery and then restart okay, the process. So I recharged my battery and I'm still on the same screen so I'm just going to go ahead and click on retry and uh, hopefully should start doing the transmitting. Okay, so that looks good. And it is right now transmitting all that new firmware that was downloaded to my computer into the Mavic Pro. Shows 100%. Still a little bit late. And after that, you will see this screen which says updating. So now it's doing the actual process of updating. So I think what it does is it sends the actual file to the Mac Pro and then it starts to install that firmware file. So this is the final screen you're going to see when it's complete and that's it. Once you see this, uh, you can go back and uh, you will see that this is your current firmware and you're all done. And uh, now we will be updating. Okay, so I connected the USB cable. I removed this connector out, plugged it in and connected the USB and here it is, exactly the same screen and it tells me which one is the latest one and I just gonna click on upgrade and start update and uh, this is going to be fairly quick because the firmware on this one is uh, fairly small so it uh, literally downloads right away depending on your internet speed and then finish up the process so it's the exact same process right now it shows upgrading 
So just again, uh, let it do its thing. If it gets stuck, just leave it for a few minutes and then uh, it should all be done. And once you are done with that, it's gonna show the exact same screen showing complete and that would be it. And uh, I'll just bring it back when it's 100% okay, so here you Here you go, you see it complete and uh, just go on back and uh, it will show you that this is your current and official update and uh, that's it so now you're done upgrading both your mavic pro and the remote controller thanks for watching please subscribe